Regarding Senate Bill 17, how do you plan to keep the state of Missouri from becoming like the state of Kansas by eliminating the corporate income tax? They go on to write, there is no revenue growth trigger in place for this. Jobs in Kansas have not grown. It is not fair to eliminate taxes on corporations. They should pay their fair share. Uh, I appreciate that that question, uh, Mark and Cheryl. Um, this is nothing like Kansas. Kansas cut a billion dollars in one year. And uh, what we have been doing in the state of Missouri is we've been trying to cut taxes in 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 ways of when revenue grows, grows. We have triggers on, on other bills that we've passed. Uh, this was a starting point in discussion of, of taxes. And like I, like I mentioned in the previous question, Senate Bill 17 has been rolled into a, another bill dealing with tax credit reform. And I think that if you get a bill through the Missouri General Assembly this year, it will actually have a positive fiscal note and bring more revenue in because we're going to reform tax credits. Senator, our next question along the lines of taxes, if you eliminate corporate tax and cut personal tax, what will you cut in state services? Are we following the disaster in Kansas? Uh, once again, what we're doing in the state of Missouri has nothing compared to Kansas. Kansas cut a billion dollars in one year. Uh, so I would say, no, we're not following Kansas. We have our own mechanisms to do so. Uh, we're doing it on revenue growth. Uh, we bring in about $250 million every year uh, in new revenue, and we're trying to give some of that back to taxpayers.